On an oddly sunny day in mid-February, volunteers from the Susquehannock Wildlife Society and other organizations joined Scott Smith, a wildlife ecologist with the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, or DNR, to trudge through ice-covered wetlands in order to collect population data on a beautiful and rarely seen creature, the eastern tiger salamander. With unique habitat often comes unique species. On the eastern shore of Maryland, the Delmarva Bay ecosystem is no exception. Host to a variety of rare or endangered plants and amphibian species, these seasonal wetlands form from large depressions in the ground that hold rainwater and snowmelt just long enough to prevent the establishment of fish predators but allow for the breeding and metamorphosis of these endangered populations of our largest terrestrial salamander. One that, depending on weather conditions, can breed from late fall to spring, but usually by late winter, and then spends most of the year underground. We conducted visual surveys of the Delmarva Bays to look for egg masses, a sign of not only the presence of these salamanders in each particular wetland, but an indicator of health for these populations. During this survey, we encountered several other members of the Delmarva Bay ecosystem. The Eastern Painted Turtle, Green Frog Tadpoles, and a handful of Eastern Red Spotted Newts. A cold but still lively Eastern Snapping Turtle. We were excited to find so many tiger salamander egg masses but we really hoped to get to see an adult up close. Suddenly, we found one sitting on the bottom of the wetland. Wow, what an impressive creature. The first thing we noted was that these are much larger than their smaller, more common cousins, the spotted salamander and marbled salamanders that we are used to seeing back home. They also exhibit a unique pattern of coloration, a paddle-like tail that acts as a rudder and a broader head. The sites we were surveying had been preserved and managed by Maryland DNR for the purpose of protecting and hopefully increasing this incredible creature and the biodiversity of this habitat in which it lives. Recorded data indicates that by removing trees from the depression basin and opening the canopy to sunlight, these areas are enhanced for rare plants and amphibians like the tiger salamander and barking tree frog. A number of these wetlands were found to be colonized by these species almost immediately after this management occurred. We feel truly fortunate that we were able to see one of these great treasures for ourselves, and that they are in good hands, hopefully for many generations to come. It is reassuring that a species once thought to be on the brink of extinction locally appears to be on their way to bounce back so that they may reclaim their rightful place as the tigers of the Delmarva Bays.